Welcome back to the DD Performance Research MR2 Squared project. This is the evening of the 36th day, and I'm just going to jump right in and get you up to date on all of our progress since last time. So as you can see, there's a lot going on in the uh, engine compartment since last time we made a video. Uh, we have the beginnings of our exhaust system. You can see we're kind of hunting for a home right now for that uh, cutout. That's a three and a half inch exhaust pipe, so that's uh, pretty big, all single steel tubing. And uh, we're trying to find a, a optimal location for that so we can give that good uh, good flow to the exhaust tips while at the same time we have to make room for over here you have our uh, our waste gates which are going to have to come back around and research into the pipe right there and then you also have this big guy down here which is a flex pipe uh, it's a vibrant three and a half inch catalyst and then a burn stainless steel muffler so all that is going to have to come up into place kind of right about here somewhere so we have to make all that stuff fit. Still have tips coming out the sides, still make the corners and everything else. Uh, the reason we're still kind of playing with it is we do want to have a little bit better clearance to the heads than what we have right now. So our hope is to be able to get that pipe moved a little bit further back uh, so it can fit a little more air gap and a little, build a heat shield in there as well. Uh, on top of the engine, you can see the intake manifolds all bolted up in position. We still have to weld the uh, inner seam on the plenum, but uh, we do have the throttle body flange welded on there. And uh, we've got the intercooler now pretty well mocked up and uh, uh, pretty close to done as well. You can see the inlet tank is on there. We've got it hooked up with one of those uh, Wiggins clamps to the outlet on the uh, turbocharger, which we welded on. And then you can see we've got the, uh, the Dash 12 inlet fitting for the water, AN fitting. And then you've got your outlet tank, which you go right to the intake. So super, super short piping path on this thing. Should be awesome throttle response. And around the other side of the intercooler, where you can see we're building an integrated reservoir on it. And then the outlet's going to be right on the bottom of that. And it's kind of hard to see because it's dark down there, but we have some cool little dry brakes we've put in on the feed line and return line for the fuel system as well, just to make service a little bit easier. All right, moving along to the uh, inside of the car here. We have an update since uh, last time on the fuel system. Uh, we've, of course, we have the enclosure for the swirl pot done. You saw that before. Uh, we've also now completed the plumbing. So you can see we've got our, uh, this is the factory tank over here. You can see we've got a feed and a return plumbed in, and the feed and the return come in right over to here. So you've got your, uh, you know, your your in and your out uh, going to and from the tank. So the the feed will just simply fill the swirl pot up, and then as soon as it gets full, that outlet is open to just flow right back into the other tank. So continuous flow through there, no real pressure. And then uh, you know that's the electrical connection at the center of the swirl tank, and then these are the two outlets from the uh, the Walbro uh, E85, uh, the four uh, 460 pumps, and. Uh, they come this Y and then that Y feeds to the dash eight feed out to the rails. And then that'll be the dash six return from the rails. So there you go. Some cool stuff there. And then uh, moving around to the front of the car. Got a couple of cool updates here. Uh, so we have added our uh, fans to the heat exchanger. You can see them on the back here. We've got two small 11 inch fans, uh, a little bit around, right around 2000 CFM of airflow out of those two. And then we have our battery mounted with the uh, Optima Tray CNC tray. Uh, we're going to be uh, probably putting a cool little uh, personalization plate on the top of there for uh, for Mar One when we're done. And you can also see, of course, we have the pump and the actuators mounted for the air suspension. So uh, that's coming together very nicely as well. Well, thank you all very much for joining us. Hope you had a great way. Please uh, keep the likes, questions, and uh, comments coming and shares. And we'll join you as soon as we can with more updates.